Hello everybody, it's Ben here, and today I'm taking a look at the first of the eagerly anticipated Wave 4 of Transformers Generations 30th Edition. I'm looking at the IDW-inspired Autobot Scoop. Now, I really liked the Generation 1 character. Now, he didn't officially appear in the cartoon. Um, he was in the intro um, for what would have been season five of the American cartoon um, and he was I believe he was in the generation two rehash thing uh, he kind of appeared in there and then I kind of forgot about him um, he had a great toy uh, with his double target masters um, that was, uh, God, that was way back in in the 80s then and then we saw him again in the IDW um, Stormbringer I think it was uh, where he was helping Springer and the Wreckers. And voila! Hasbro do it again, and they give us another Wreckerish IDW awesomeness. Let's have a quick look at the box. Again, just a standard clamshell with your comic included. And you've got his bio with him on the back, and his two target masters, uh, which are. Caliburst, uh, okay, that's not the same name as the original, um, probably for the fact they can't get rights, I don't know, and um, Hole Punch, uh, and yeah, there he is, fairly good tech spec, boop, IDW, uh, come and join us at there, Hasbro, blah de blah de blah de blah thanks to the guys at Comic Toys for getting this out to me quickly to review, Ah, this wave is so good. I can't wait to get these out of the box and take a look at them all. So, without further ado, let's review! Here he is, uh, straight out of the packaging. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at his Target Masters. Um, they come like that, just got to fold the uh, top down. Let's have a look, see if we can get some of the detail. Because, I mean, these are these are pretty good. They are pretty detailed, as far as Target Masters go. It's nice to see them back again, really. Good range of movement in the arm. Okay! Loose ball joints on the arm. Be careful, my people. Flip there. So the legs fixed. Ah, oh, the legs are on a fixed joint. I see. Then obviously the handle just swivels. Now oh, that's a shame. I thought they could kind of come apart a little bit more there. No, no head movement at all either. Um, I don't think a great deal of effort goes into uh, transforming these. Let they just peg in at the back. And you've got a gun. I'm assuming they are both identical. Yeah, again, fairly good detail on these, though. A little bit of paint bleeding, but that's pretty, pretty good, I think, isn't it? Nice detailing on the face there. Again, transform him. Flip, flip, flip. Plug, plug, plug. Ta-da! Wow. Ingenious. And here he is, Target Masters in hand. Now, the Target Masters, on the back of the box, it's got them like that. Um, okay, yeah, that looks like a fairly goodish gun, doesn't it? But you can just see his head. Um, I think I personally prefer, I know you've got these arms up like so, haven't you? I just think that looks slightly better, doesn't it? I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? Either way, he comes packing his twin Target Masters. Uh, the sculpt on Scoop himself is actually pretty good. A uh, slight, slight bleeding there of the orange on the face. If you can get in focus, there we go. Really very G1-esque chest on this guy. Nice, solid shoulders. He's a good size Deluxe. I'll do a size comparison uh, in a little while, but he's a good, solid size. Um, great range of movement in the shoulders, uh, the waist. Loads of movement there. Got really tight joints, double-jointed kneecap due to the transformation. Uh, you've got a pivot on the foot, only upwards, mind, again, due to the transformation. So you can get this guy in some pretty crazy poses. Um, 
I really like him. Really, he was one of the ones I was most excited about. Um, he hasn't had a decent... I, I say he hasn't had a decent figure. I know he was out in the R.I.D. stroke car robots as part of the combiner. Although I think... Don't quote me on this. I think it was a different uh, kind of universe, I think. he uh, He's good. I really like him. Now, obviously, the guns can combine take them out of his hands and just make it a little bit easier fold his arms out like so revealing this hole then turn him around and he's got this small tip on there that then plugs in like so now you have to have the handle down and this handle out of the way otherwise they will hit into one another just push that in you can apply a fair bit of force because it ain't going to go in there otherwise there we go and uh, there we go. It's kind of a kind of a combined. Uh, my phone's going nuts, isn't it? Sorry. Kind of a combined target master there. I don't know if he can. It's a little um, a little overpowering. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if he could hold it in two hands. It would be better if he could reach it with the other hand, possibly. Yeah. There we go. Much better. Yeah. That's a little better, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I like him. I like him a lot. That is a great bot mode and uh, a pretty good use of the target masters as well to give you guys an idea of scale he stands pretty pretty tall um he's a good size deluxe so his cups a little bit bigger than him and springer being a voyager does tower over him just a tad but hey i am happy with that i always pictured this guy as being one of the smaller uh, smaller members of the group and uh, yeah i think they've successfully pulled it off pretty good so uh, without further ado, let's get him transformed into his vehicle mode and take a look at that. First step of vehicle mode is to get oh, get rid of those, uh, those weapons. And we want to fold his hands in like so. Come around to the back here and extend this truck mode fully. Extend it all the way out and flip it up like that. Then come round to the front and flip his chest section down. His shoulders are on a static pin so you can pull one and both will move down like so. I'm going to tuck those in, straighten up those arms and then pull the section over his head like so. From here you can then fold this whole section up so you're left with this. You can slide these shoulders up so they can tab in. You tab that one into the chest there that one into the chest there and they then tab in at the forearm as well which you can just nip those together that's quite a tight fit actually due to the uh, way the arms are there we go that's... there we go push those legs together flip up the toes like so Turning them around and flip the legs back over on those double jointed knees. And you see there's some tab just in there that slots in like so, he says. Oh, there we go. Now, here he is in his vehicle mode. Unfortunately, I think this is the weakest of the modes. Um, great comic with this guy, great bot mode, great target masters, but vehicle mode, nothing seems to tab in as it should. There could be some more paint apps. I mean, you've got a visible head there. I don't know if I should have turned that round. I didn't make it very clear in the instructions. Um, it's a good size, um, but ugh, it's just a little weak. It's a shame they couldn't get these bits to tab in correctly. I mean, the instructions are like for beginners, and I couldn't really go wrong yet they don't seem to tab in very well. Um, fair bit of detail there. Um, the cockpit itself is that kind of painted plastic colour like on the Optimus Prime uh, Classics Voyager. 
but uh, all in all, it looks nice. It's just a shame nothing tabs in as it should. Um, is there a customizer right there that can make this into a Goldie Mug? I hope so. He's got great potential. I would love to see this done as a uh, kind of deluxe uh, size stroke scale Goldie Mug from Brave. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, from myself and Scoop and the guys at Comic Toys. Until next.